This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I'm on my way now. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit subscribe and click on that tiny little bell to follow along on our now DR adventures. We of course are still in Cabarete, which is basically our home now. We were here a couple of years ago and now that we've been back for a little while, people keep asking us, has it changed? So today we're going to be answering that question. So throughout the video, we'll be talking about a whole lot of subjects. I think the main one, the big one, of course, is prices. You guys are wondering, of course, if prices have gone up here since the last time we were here. So we'll be talking about a lot of categories within that as well. But we'll also be talking about the weather, the beach, and all that stuff. So for all of you guys that are new around here and don't know the geography of the Dominican Republic, we are located in beautiful Cabarete here in the north coast of the country. It's a small little beach town and that's where we're going to be talking about all these changes today. We're basing the changes off of where we are. We know it doesn't represent the entire DR but it will represent a lot of other towns and places. So you might be noticing that there's not really that many people around the streets that we've been walking on so far. It's been really quiet here since we arrived in October. It's now November as we film this. We've noticed a little bit of an increase. Last time we were here we arrived in November and then we noticed around like American Thanksgiving and then Christmas and then afterwards it got a little bit busier. But we've been hearing it's been really quiet this year, like way quieter than it has been in a long time. There's a car coming, let's push up, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I think a lot of people came during the pandemic and they got a big influx of people then. And now maybe that people can travel to more places, they are doing that unless uh, like fewer people are coming here. We'll see what happens in the winter, but we did hear the summer was especially quiet. So it actually does make us wonder what this coming season is going to be like. Is there going to be tons of people here? There were a lot of people here a year and a half ago when we arrived. Or is it going to be a little more tranquilo, you know, a little more calm, less people now that kind of, you know, COVID's over and not everyone's moving and not everyone's buying property everywhere. So one thing that has not changed is uh, the traffic around here, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guys might know that it's pretty scary to drive around here. Even crossing the street can be a little bit intimidating because nobody stops for you. That's not changed at all. It's still loud. It's still really scary to drive around here, but we do it. Once yeah, right now this looks pretty tame. This is usually much busier. We're right by the grocery store, which is Janet's, and we're actually going to go in there in a moment and talk about groceries. So into the grocery store we go. We'll go through some prices real quick here. You can get a yogurt for about 46 pesos, a small local beer for 95 pesos, you got milk for about 70 pesos, cereal 220 pesos, spaghetti about 50 to 100 pesos, sauce is about 200 pesos, we have wine, we all have wine, 500 pesos, toilet paper runs you about 200 pesos, local bread 150, chicken 300 to 400 pesos, rice 62 pesos, very specific, and coffee 280 pesos. So we have definitely noticed that prices have increased here since we were here the last time, but basically a year and a half ago was when we left. Uh, but it's definitely way, way, way cheaper than in Canada, I can tell you that. Yeah, and other countries that we've been to, right? For sure. <laughs> so last year we traveled right around the entire globe, and one thing we noticed in all the countries we we visited, everyone would say in their country alone like the prices went up. Like Canada's crazy expensive, Greece is now, heck in Thailand things are going up in prices. But it, here's we find it happening everywhere, right? It's definitely happening ev everywhere. I do want to put a little bit of a disclaimer on our feelings about the prices here in the DR. We obviously like just traveled around the world. We were in some really, really cheap places like Thailand and Vietnam where it's very, very affordable. But then on our way back, we stopped in like Japan and South Korea. We were in the US, <laughs> we were in the UK, we were home in Canada. We had a lot of sticker shock. Yeah, big we, time. <laughs> yeah, especially when we got home in Canada, you know, we usually go away for months at a time, come back and I always notice the price increases. But in 2023, it like went up. Yeah. So it was such a sticker shock that we came back. So we need to keep that in mind. Some people maybe are just in Canada and the US and they come down here for a week or two and then they go home. Home, and so they might come back and say, oh my goodness, the prices went up a lot here, but we're also comparing it to different places around Yeah, we the world. are. The thing is, since we've been back already, and a lot of you guys stop us and say hello, uh, you do say, do you notice how much the prices have gone up? We have, but they're nowhere near in comparison with some of the countries we just listed. So if you're thinking about coming here, know that it is still quite affordable, especially if you're coming from you know, the Canada's or the UK yes. or the Americas. So one thing you might be wondering about, because we didn't talk about it when we went into Janet's, was like the price of produce. So much cheaper here if it's something local that they can grow here, which is a lot of things. We In the last video, we actually went to a little like fruit vegetable stand and we spent maybe like four or five dollars on a lot of stuff that would have probably cost like 10 or 15 dollars at home in Canada. 
Well, one thing that has not changed here is this beautiful beach, you guys. This, this is why we have come back to Cabarete. It's literally our favorite place in the world. Have we mentioned that yet? The big reason why we love it is this beach is enormous. We can walk it every day and hopefully this never changes. I don't know why it would, but this is our little piece of paradise. Yeah, I absolutely love this beach so much. We tend to go for a walk usually every day if we can for like an hour, so it's an hour and a half. And you can just walk for ages on this beach. But I will say, maybe I'm just mis not remembering things correctly, but I feel like in the month that we've been here, the beach has changed so much every day. And I don't remember this happening before. Like some days there won't be much sand in certain areas. Other days the water will come up way higher than I remember it coming up before. Uh, there was a couple of days where it was actually going into some restaurants and I don't remember that ever happening but it just seems like the shape and the sand seem to be fluctuating a lot every day. <laughs> yeah and it's definitely to do well with the ocean. Today it's super calm isn't it? Yeah I know other days there's a massive massive wave. Today is the perfect beach day for filming a video so maybe not time for us to go sit on the beach but one of these days we're gonna go do it. Before we get any further in this week's video we just wanted to say a huge thanks to our longtime partner Squarespace for being a sponsor. We're pretty sure by now that you guys know that we exclusively use Squarespace to design our clients' websites. We, of course, used it to design our very own website. <laughs> but did you know that you could use it to design your own website? Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that helps you stand out and succeed online. You can easily build your very own website using their super customizable templates. You'll build your website using Fluid Engine, a next-generation web design system from Squarespace which allows you to customize every design detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology for desktop or mobile. And every template design supports all major content types, including pages, galleries, blogs, commerce, calendars, and so much more. Are you ready to build your own website? Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash delightful travelers for 10% off your website or domain. And of course, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. So let's talk about real estate. This place is just being built now and it's right directly on the beach. The prices here are extremely high. This is probably not a good example of how much things cost here. I looked this place up the other day and I think it starts around 850 and goes well into wait, one point. Eight hundred and fifty thousand or a US. million. We're talking US dollars, <laughs> not pesos here. It's a lot of money to live in this crazy building. Well, here's right the thing. The it's important to point out. We wanted to go with the dramatic example first. This yeah. is right on this beautiful beach. I mean, you're in this, we're in the yeah. sand. It's going to have an infinity pool looking like right onto the beach. It's going to be pretty incredible. If you got a budget, sure, come here. <laughs> Most of the places that we have noticed are definitely increasing, especially since the last time we were here. I mean, places near the beach are, we're talking about like, one bedroom, know. what, 180,000 to 200,000? Yeah, depending. but not, not directly on the, not with beach views. When no, you're but, talking beach views, you're getting way up there in prices. But to be close to the beach, about like a minute walk, you can get it for about between 150,000 to $200,000. For sure. But if you go 10 minutes kind of inland, mm -hmm. it's a lot cheaper, right? It, it is, it's quite a bit cheaper. And I think Sosua also, it's like 20 minutes down the road, is a little bit cheaper than Cabarete as well. So basically the closer you are to the beach, the better view you have, the more expensive it's gonna be and the farther off you are. Even in really nice places, it gets quite a bit cheaper. Speaking of that, the same concept kind of works for rentals. We haven't found the prices have gone at too much. Leave a comment if you disagree with us because I'm curious, but where we stay, the prices are really the same as they were last time. We're minute, literally like 30 seconds from the beach and you're in the building that we're in, it's usually like for a one bedroom, 1,200 to 2,000 at like the that, most. Yeah. Two bedrooms kind of similar, 1,500 to 2,200 depending on the season and, and that kind of thing. Of course, once you get off the beach, you know, across the road, back into, you know, the little bit more local areas, even not that local areas, it gets way cheaper. Like we're talking half prices, sometimes even we, lower than We that. even know people that got places for like $300, $400 a month. A little more local. So yes. the moral of the story is you can get whatever you want here. Yes. <laughs> One question we always get asked from you guys down here is, do we know any realtors? Do we know any good realtors? in the area. In the past, we were always kind of nervous to recommend realtors because almost anybody can be a realtor down here. They don't have like a governing body per se. So you get a lot of people just kind of trying to be a realtor. But now we're happy to say that we can finally recommend you to someone. We've met some people. They're amazing. They're trustworthy. So if you guys are interested, reach out to us 
first via like email, Instagram message, Facebook message, and then we will put you in touch with the realtor and they do represent here for sure and a lot of the North Coast in general. So we've come over to Friends here in town, which is, well, it's an institution in Cabarete. For anyone that has been here before to the town, you've probably been to this restaurant. We absolutely love this place, you guys. Look at the colors. There's so many flags, so much going on in here. They even have Bloody Caesars. We're from Canada, we can get a Bloody Caesar. We don't have to get a Bloody Mary. Bloody Caesars are a lot better. I'm just joking around. I like a Bloody Mary too, but this is one of our favorite little lunch spots in town specifically, and we got some food on the way. So I got mango, which is a traditional Dominican breakfast. We both opted for a breakfast dish today, but I'll explain what's on mine. Basically, this is the mango over here, and it's like smashed plantains. I can't tell if those are pickled on the top. I think traditionally they are pickled, but they could be fried. Not sure, we'll find out very, very soon. Got some fried cheese over here and a fried egg over here. So this is where things get really good. This only cost 200 pesos. It's like three fifty or $4 USD. So really, really cheap to eat, especially breakfast around here. Let's try it though. Is it actually good? I'm gonna try the mango. I don't know about you guys, but I love plantains. That is so delicious. I feel like one time we ordered this and it didn't actually come with the onions and that is totally what makes it. They are a pickled onion. They're also a little bit warmed up as well. The mango itself almost reminds me of like mashed potatoes, but a little bit like more dense, a little bit heartier. It's so good. So I ordered an omelet today, you guys. I decided to go for like an American style breakfast since Anna's getting a, uh, well, a Dominican style breakfast. This also is only like $3.50 around there, 200 pesos. Where can you eat like that for? Right here, in the DR. <laughs> Let's try it out really quick. It's a bacon omelet. For that price, you cannot beat that. You can see the portions are huge as well. The bacon is really good down here in the DR, and the eggs are also good. This is a solid, solid omelet. So to be completely honest, we probably could have split that dish, and then we're both eating for what? Like 100 pesos each? So there you go, it's like $2, $1.75 each. The portions are huge here, so the prices, yeah, they haven't changed too much, you guys. The prices are really, really affordable here. I'll try to put it into perspective a little more. Like, in the night, at dinner, when we go out to eat, we can usually spend between $30 and $50, and that's Canadian sometimes, on uh, some meals. So we can get one appetizer, two mains, sometimes we might split a main because the portions here are big, two glasses of wine, a soda water, and usually an espresso for me because I'm a night owl and I'm usually up editing these videos, and yeah, somewhere between 30 and $50. Now, sure, there are restaurants where you can go and spend a lot more money than that to spend like American prices here, but there's even restaurants where you can go spend less to put that all into perspective. So, there's one thing that hasn't changed too, too much to us, it's the restaurant prices, and that's one of the things we love about here. Quite often, it's more affordable to eat out than it is to go buy groceries and cook at home. Just think about that for a second. Well, it looks like someone did some damage to her uh, meal over here. I know, but I still, like Trevor just said, I still couldn't finish that, so we easily could have split something, especially at lunch. We don't usually try to eat too much food, so next time we will be splitting. But one thing I want to talk about that hasn't changed, and you might be wondering, is always like this, a lot of places only take cash, so be prepared for that. There are definitely places that take credit cards. Not many more take credit cards than the last time, so that certainly hasn't changed, but expect a few places to take credit cards. Most will take cash, do just you, cash. Do you think it's like 50-50? Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah, it's something maybe like say 60-40 with the cash. For cash, that's good yeah. to know. And speaking yeah. of that, this place, well, friends, you can see the logo behind yeah. you. Cash only. <laughs> well, that was uh, delicious, and if you're coming to Cabarete, you have to go to friends. Uh, if you're wondering, right now this building, and you can hear some construction, is that building that had like the 800,000 USD to a million dollar place. And on the <laughs> other side right now. We're in the middle, like friends is like right behind this yellow wall. It's interesting this little town, all the changes, huh? Yeah, but just to kind of wrap things up a little bit, in general we find it feels the same here, which is yes. what we're after. We come here for the, like this amazing vibe. It's really hard to explain if you've never been here, but there's a certain thing about this place. There is. Still got it. There is. There's, it's, it's hard to describe. We're still trying to put our finger on the exact words for it, but what we're hoping is these videos show you guys. For us, it's all about the work lifestyle balance here. I know a lot of people come to retire as well. But for us, the infrastructure is good enough. There's high speed internet. We're yeah. on the beach every single day, and we have amazing restaurants in yeah. this little town. And should I point out that we do not need a car? That hasn't changed. Yeah, that has not changed either. And speaking of restaurants, I just want to point out there are a few new things that have opened, a few things that have closed, mm -hmm. but in general, it stays well balanced. Lots of great places to eat. 
which I think you know by now. I think you guys can tell we still love this place, even though there has been some changes, but nothing too significant. This is our home now. We live here. If it's your first time uh, to the channel, yeah, this is this is home base now. We've been here more than any other place in the world for the last like two or three years. So. Yeah, it's just special, special to us. And if you got this far in the video and you're like, who the heck are you guys? It's Trevor and Anna, delightful travelers. Hit subscribe, leave a comment, all the things that helps us out. We should point out a quick little plug though. We're hosting a group trip. Yeah, we are supposed to do a segue into our favorite places. <laughs> we love it here. We also love Greece. And we're doing a group trip to Greece in 2024 in September. We'd love to have you along. There's still plenty of spots available if you want to grab one. That's right, did you hear that? It's a group trip. That means all of you can come with us. We're yeah, all gonna we get go to travel to together. Together, we're gonna do it all at once, and we're going to Crete, Greece, and it's a, an amazing island. We've been before, but not to all the places. So we just want to mention that if you're interested, email us or send us a message. We'll put a link below as well. Just click <laughs> on that and read all about it. But for now, we're gonna end this video. Don't worry. There's lots more coming up here in the DR from Cabarete and the North Coast and many other places of the Dominican Republic not just here. All right guys, that's it. From Cabarete, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.